The EDM 760 has programmable alarms. When a parameter exceeds its normal range, the digital display will flash with the value and abbreviation of the alarming item. When an alarm is displayed, tapping step will temporarily disable the alarm for the next 10 minutes. When an alarm is displayed, holding step until the word off appears will disable that alarm for the remainder of the flight. Look for a uniform rise of about 50 degrees in single magneto operation. A fouled plug will show up as a sharp reduction in EGT. You should see a uniform rise and fall of EGTs when cycling the mixture control. Be alert for abnormal bus voltage, cold oil temperature, or high CHTs. During takeoff, check that the EGTs and CHT are consistent with past climbs. EGTs will be slightly cooler due to fuel cooling. Be alert for a high EGT in one cylinder, 300 degrees higher than the others, indicating a plugged injector or leaking manifold gasket. In cruise, be alert for uneven EGTs or CHTs in carbureted engines. Make fine adjustments to throttle, then RPM, then mixture to minimize the difference between the highest and lowest EGT shown as the DIF value. In descent, manually select the shock cooling display to track it during your letdown. Rates of up to 50 degrees per minute are to be expected, depending on your engine's configurations. There is an engine diagnosis chart in your EDM 760 pilot's guide. This chart will tell you specifically what may be causing an anomalous display. You can customize the display of your EDM 760 from the pilot seat. If you have fuel flow, set the toggle switch to the all position. To begin, hold both buttons for 5 seconds. You will see the word program. If you have the fuel flow option, you will see fuel no. You may tap lean find at this point to inform the EDM 760 that you added fuel. Tap step. You will see the word rate followed by a number. The rate is the number of seconds the display will pause at each parameter in the automatic indexing mode. To increase the number, hold the Lean Find button. To decrease the number, repeatedly tap the Lean Find button. You can change the display of the outside air temperature to Fahrenheit or Celsius degrees. Normally, the EGT is displayed to 10 degree resolution. To change this to 1 degree resolution, tap Lean Find to display EGT 1 Yes. Notice that the least significant digit is no longer always a zero. You can change the K-factor for each of the two fuel transducers. Refer to the pilot's guide for details on how to do this. You can set whether the calculated fuel used is accumulated between the fuel fill-ups or reset to zero. To accumulate fuel used over many fill-ups, tap Lean Find to change the No to Yes. You can select the GPS fuel flow communications format. Refer to the pilot's guide for details on how to do this. You can transfer the long-term memory to your Palm computer or laptop. At the completion of the pilot programming procedure, tap Step when you see End Yes. If you want to review the procedure again, tap Lean Find to select End No and Step through the program again. To change the alarm limits, you must simultaneously hold both the step and lean find buttons for 5 seconds until you see the words program, then tap step repeatedly until you see the end yes. Again, simultaneously hold both the step and lean find buttons for 5 seconds. You will see factory limits followed by factory no. If you want to restore the factory program default limits, change the no to a yes by tapping Lean Find, then tap Step. But before you do, make a note of the settings because they will be lost after a factory limit reset. Be sure to make a note the K-factors of each transducer.
Set each alarm limit by holding or tapping Lean Find to change the value. Holding Lean Find increases the value. Tapping Lean Find decreases the value. Tap Step to move to the next alarm limit. A few of the alarm limits are worth a comment. If you have a second TIT sensor for each engine, you may not have an oil temperature probe. This parameter tells the EDM760 whether that probe channel is a second TIT or oil. You may change the units for fuel flow. Tap Lean Find to change the units to kilograms, liters, pounds, or gallons. Here is how to set the capacity of the main tank. Tap Step to see main equals 100. You may now use the Lean Find button to select the total fuel capacity of your main tanks. You need only do this once at setup. If you have auxiliary fuel tanks or tank tabs, you may set another higher fill value. Set the main capacity to the lower fill level and the auxiliary tank capacity to the difference between the higher and lower fill levels. For example, if your lower fill level is 80 and your higher fill level is 120, set the main to 80 and the auxiliary to 40. First, set auxiliary to yes. Now set the auxiliary value to the difference between the higher fill level and lower fill level. This parameter sets the fuel flow display filter for carbureted or injected engines. Set carb to no for injected engines. This sets the long-term memory on or off. Set to yes to record data. With the EDM760 acting as a flight engineer, you can enjoy improved fuel economy, reduced maintenance costs, and extended engine life. JPI is a leader in precision engine performance monitoring. Our expertise is built into the EDM760. Our patented technology provides the alarms, displays, and sampling algorithms that give you hands-free, must-know information. JP Instruments is delighted that you selected the EDM760 for your aircraft. We invite you to call us if you have any technical questions.